Hey guys, it's Matt with Meat Church and welcome back to my home in Waxahachie, Texas. Today's part three and the grand finale of our brisket series and I think we saved the best for last. All the rage on the internet right now using beef tallow when smoking a brisket. Does it make a difference? We'll stick around and find out. If you guys remember part one, we did a comparison between cooking a brisket wrapped in butcher paper versus one wrapped in aluminum foil. And then part two of this brisket series, we smoked brisket meat side up and then one fat side up and talked about the differences. But today is all about the tallow and why are we doing this? Well, I can't open Instagram or YouTube without seeing tallow, tallow, tallow. Some of it's clickbait. Some of it is like the world has just figured out tallow, which is not really a new secret, but it seems to be all the recent rage. Um, and in this experiment, in this entire series, we started with six 44 Farms briskets, all trimmed the same way, and then simply seasoned with Meat Church Holy Cow. And we've cooked two briskets for each part of the series. So we've got two of those today. Uh, we're gonna smoke one with tallow and one without. And so, hey, I thought what I would do is bring in an expert on tallow, and that's my buddy Johnny, owner of Goldie's Barbecue here in Kennedale. How you doing, man? Good, good, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming. I'm uh, excited to be here. Um, yeah, working at those places. Uh, I've been using tallow for a really long time, but um, I'm excited to go over like you know when you should use it, how you should use it, all that good stuff, and uh, you know show show a way to do it. I'm excited. I mean, what I think what's crazy unique about you that you've worked at not one, not two, but three <laughs> Texas Monthly Top 50 yeah. barbecue joints. Yeah. So you've definitely been doing this for a long time. You've mm -hmm. been using tallow for a long time. Yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of people that have worked at three Texas Monthly Top 50 barbecue yeah, joints. Yeah, definitely, definitely. No, it was great because uh, you know I learned learned a whole lot from each one, and uh, you know and I have my own spot now, so um, you know. It's awesome, <laughs> it's, and it's, yeah, it's yeah. super good. Um, and if people don't know what the Texas Monthly Top 50 is, it's like. 50 of the best barbecue joints in the country. So let's go get butcher paper and tallow and let's wrap these briskets. Alrighty. Well, as I've mentioned, these briskets have been cooked to the wrap stage. I, uh, I love this mill scale that you got. That's amazing. Thanks, man. I know got, you guys have a couple mill scales. We got Goldies. two, yeah, 2,000 gallons of Goldies Dang. from mill scale. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. You wanna grab that one? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap mine uh, in unwaxed butcher paper. We've spritzed it with cider vinegar and I'm just gonna wrap mine plain uh, where Johnny, you're gonna wrap yours with, with tallow. Yes, so we have the, uh, we have the butcher paper spritzed. Uh, that's gonna kind of seal the bottom of it. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do is just get a scoop of this cold tallow, put it right here on the bottom and place the brisket directly on top. I, uh, this is a technique I've learned along the way. Um, I don't like to pour it on top because I don't want to mess with this bark because bark's very important, obviously. But I do want to cook it with tallow. So this is the best kind of way to, to get the tallow in there and not mess up your bark. So basically, that's pretty much it. Just a little scoop. It's going to melt in there. It's going to be cooking. And then I'm going to wrap it up. And these briskets were about 180 in the point, 180-ish, and like 170-ish in the flat. So that's how we knew they were ready. Yeah. After you wrap yours up. Yeah, we'll, they're feeling great, feeling soft. It looks uh, that, great already. Yeah, that yeah tallow, I wouldn't want to mess with that bark either. Yeah, absolutely. And that tallow will help soften up the bottom as well. If you do have any crispy bits around the way, uh, it's just going to be sitting in a, a, a pool of tallow, basically, while it cooks. Awesome. Well, we're going to put these back in the mill scale. Um, we're going to keep running this post oak fire at 250 degrees uh, until these briskets are tender and done, and then we're going to rest them. And then I'm excited. I don't know if... Uh, if I've told you this, but uh, we've got a third person coming in, another barbecue joint owner that's going to blind taste test our two different briskets to give us an unbiased opinion. There we go. That's awesome. Awesome. I'm excited to see that. I'm pumped to try it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to let these keep cooking and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys, these briskets have been cooking another couple hours. We've checked them. They're done. They're about 203 degrees in the flat. We're keeping that the same for all of these briskets. So it's time to pull them out. Um, I'll let you grab yours. I'll go ahead and grab mine. All right. Now mine, I'm not gonna do anything, by the way. This one, no tallow whatsoever. We're gonna leave it as is. And then Johnny. With mine, I got my uh, rendered fat here. This is the tallow. I'm just gonna pour some on the top of the brisket while it rests. I'm gonna let it soak right in that tallow. 
So we've just rendered down fat from these briskets. We just cut the fat into small pieces, put it in the smoker overnight, and this is just more tallow that we rendered out. So we're gonna actually let this rest, as he said, in the tallow. So from here, we're gonna allow the briskets to rest at ambient temperature outside in our outdoor kitchen for about two hours. They'll still be uh, a safe temperature to eat. At that point, we're gonna unwrap them, compare. We're gonna taste them and do like an unbiased review. Yep. And we're gonna bring in our uh, special blindfolded guests. So we'll see y'all in a couple hours. All right, guys, Johnny and I are here with the briskets that have been resting for a couple hours. Uh, you can kind of even see a big difference. This one's actually been sitting in all this tallow. You can see it there on the sheet pan, but I'm ready to open them up and see what we think. Me too, I'm ready to see it. This is like all talked about on the internet. Everybody thinks you have to do this. So I'm, uh, I'm excited <laughs> to try um, it and compare. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see what people think. Um, I don't know if it's something you necessarily need to, but we'll see what people think. Well, we can clearly tell quite the visual difference there. Even before you put the residuals you on it, that brisket yeah, was wet. <laughs> it is very wet in this paper. That's from the, uh, the cold tallow that we put in and then the uh, tallow that we were uh, resting the brisket in. Man. Well, all right. I mean, clearly big visual difference, but it's, uh, to me, time to get to slicing. Yep. Man, I got to say, it's almost not fair how good that one looks compared to this one with all that tallow. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's really what it is, too. It's just the... Uh, the tallow. I mean, that's why it looks so shiny like this. Man, and obviously that one's super juicy. It's completely just oozing out of this with like zero effort. Let me cut this. Oh too. boy. See. That's my part right there. Ooh, baby. That's solid. That's Dang, very good. That mill scale <laughs> can really, cook. Yeah, mill scale is where it's at. Man, those look good. All right, well, let's slice it. Well, get us, get us some pieces to try yeah, out of absolutely. this. And, Good Lord, the juice is just running out of that. <laughs> All right. Wow, that looks, <laughs> that yeah. looks very, very Cut that into a few pieces and, yes. and you get this one going and um, it'll be time to see what we think here. There we go. And, and it's yeah. so wet, you need like a Zamboni to <laughs> mop up the, the Rosewood butcher block here. All right, let's see right, what we got yeah. here, how this one looks. Let's see, let's see. I mean, juicy as well. I mean, obviously the outside didn't look that way, but it's just running down right there. Yeah. Like, dang, same thing. Super juicy, it just looks yep. drier on top. That's really. Yeah, which I know some people prefer a drier bark. Like with my beef ribs, I don't wrap them because I like the crispy bark. Look at that, that dang, it looks super good. Super, super good. Yeah, that looks, that looks amazing. Man, oh, we'll get us some slice super, of that. Super, good. Yeah. Let me get you a slice You're good at this, this one. I know you slice at Goldie's, so you're used to this. Every weekend, every weekend, just cut yeah, it Yeah, y'all need to go to Goldie's in Kennedale. <laughs> Man, uh, I think we need to get someone else in here to, to try this with us. I think so too. Do we have any volunteers so in the crowd? Any any volunteers in the crowd? Oh, who's this? We have a blindfolded, <laughs> I think it might be Joe Zavala of Zavala's Barbecue, but um, I don't know, hold your hands out, Joe. Let me let me hand you a piece. This is one type, and then let me uh, hand you something in your other hand. I know you're kind of wet there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. That's really good. Freaking unbelievable. <laughs> that rub is amazing. What did you say the rub was called? Meat Church Holy Cow, baby. Meat Church Holy Cow. That is delicious. Man. All right. I'm going to wow. Go is this a, a fatty piece of brisket? <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. God, this is so, like, just wet. <laughs> mm. Man. That, there's a lot going on with the tallow brisket, like it's, I wanna say the word that comes by, it's rich. I mean, I mean, it's it's super wet, um, but there's just a lot going on with it. Yeah. What do y'all think? That's a one slicer, that's a one slicer. What do I think? Um, <laughs> you sure this isn't a fatty piece of brisket? <laughs> Which one was this one? That is the tallow brisket. That's tallow. Man, I think it was lean just <clears throat> with just so much, just fat, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what it was, right? That's exactly what it is. It was that's lean. what the tallow does. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like you just want to you want to be a showstopper, so you just throw that tallow on there. Absolutely. What do you Absolutely. think? I think um, they're both really, really good. I think the tallow is obviously you know a little bit more rich, um, but it is a, a little bit more bland. And I think that the, that much fat going onto a brisket 
can really mellow out your rub that's on top of it. Yep, um, I agree. But the, right. uh, the crispy bark on this one definitely had more, more flavor. Definitely more flavor here, and I have like a film of fat in my mouth right now. <laughs> yes. I don't know, that has to yes. be from the towel. I can't even take it serious right now. <laughs> I think that they're both really good. I, I couldn't, I'd probably do different ones on different times, uh, you know, just to, to change things up. I, I mean, I'm gonna say this, sometimes I think cooking a brisket like that's for the gram. People mm -hmm. are doing that for the likes. You don't necessarily have to do it. And look, we're going to be honest. We know tons of people in barbecue, and we all know lots of barbecue joint owners, and we can personally attest there's a few doing it this way. I think there's a whole lot more doing it this way. Um, you know, so to each their own. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, hey, guys, tell everyone where they can find you. Joe. <laughs> hey, uh, Joe Zavala from Zavala's Barbecue in Grand Prairie, Texas. You can find me on all social media at Zavala's Barbecue. This is Jerby. Uh, you can find me at Goldie's Barbecue every weekend. And That's a big it. time on YouTube uh, and Instagram. <laughs> Follow Jerry's Barbecue. Jeremy. So I'm Matt Pittman, Meat Church. Thanks for watching. This concludes our brisket series. If you like what we've done, please like and subscribe. We're working super hard to bring you uh, amazing content. And we'll see you guys next time.